This is a Lasco 5586 ceramic heater. We're gonna unbox this and see what we get inside. Boom, boom, boom. So this is what we have inside. The heater comes pretty much in one piece except for the feet right here. So this one side of the feet. Let's take out the heater. There's our heater. And the other side of the feet. Let's put it together. This side of the feet has a little place for your cable to come out for the cord. This side does not. All right, that's the feet right there. We do have remote control and some screws. It is a two-pronged power cord for the heater. Here's our remote control and user manual with the screws and the remote control. Oh, that's a nice remote control. Let's go. Sweet. The remote control does require battery. Two AAA battery is required, not included. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the heater. It has a nice handle here so we can carry the heater. So here's our heater and it looks like we need to install the base onto it. And let me see how this goes together. So these two pieces will go together and this one are the plugs that go into the sockets over here. Recepto. Uh, so over here, you got these. These are the pins that's gonna go into these over here. So it's gonna slide just like so. Once you slide this over, it will form the base. Just like that, now you have a solid base and you're gonna put the wire through the base like so. Using the included screws here, we will attach our base onto the fan. Now, there are two screws right here and here. So this one, you're gonna use the smaller screw on the side. No need to over tighten, just snug it up and you should be good. There we go, that's one. And there's the second one. Now we attach the base onto the heater. Line up the notch here and here. And once you do that, you'll see the bolt holes line up, route the wire through for your cord. That's nice cord management right there. And then the four screws for the base. You can start the threading with your finger first and then use a screwdriver to snug it up. Just like that. And we have three more screws. Screw number two, there we go. Two more, snugged up. Number three, and one more screw. Last one, here we go. All right, snugged up. And let's just make sure that all the other screws are also snugged up. And that's it, our heater is now installed. So let's set this down. Great core management. Nice protection film. Boom, there we go, the ceramic elements. Let's plug this in and power it up. Right here, we have the remote control, but it does require two AAA batteries, which we don't have right now. So you can still use the heater without the remote control. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this thing on. And right there, you got the thermostat, 74 degree. You have the high heat mode right there. That's 1500 watt. Now you can change the heat mode to low, and that's low power. You also have a sleep timer. That's one hour sleep timer, two hour, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight hour sleep timer right there. You also have the oscillation mode, which we love because that helps spread out the heat. It's moving left to right and nice and smooth and very quiet operation right now. And this is at the lowest heat power that's low. Push down for the high. When you go to high, you do hear the fan spin up and it gets warmer instantly. It's nice and warm right here and you have the thermostat. You can increase that and you can go up to, let's see how high it goes right there. It goes up to 90 degrees and very simple unit. Now this thing also has what's called overheat protection. So if it gets too hot internally, it will shut itself off. But that's pretty much it. That's our heater right here. This is your Lasco 5586 heater. Very nice ceramic element. What makes it unique is that you have an elongated heating element and it's about this long right here, spreading out the heat nice and warm throughout your home. You have a little handle right there as well. And it even has remote control. This is your Lasco 5586 right here. Oh yeah.